Helping Parents Explain Math, Solving Word Problems. This is part two. Anna is riding in a bike a She rode 49 miles in the morning, stopped for a lunch break, then rode another 37 miles in the afternoon. Anna was then only 62 miles from the finish line. How long was Anna's bike ride? So she rode some in the morning, some in the afternoon, she has some left, and we need to know all of it. So these are pieces of the whole ride. Let's look carefully. She rode 49 miles in the morning. So let's make a thinking block with 49. 49. And then what do we have? She rode another 37 miles. What's the key word here? Another. So we're looking to add this to this. So we would put it on the same level and write 37 in there. And the last part says Anna was then only 62 miles from the finish line. So this is another part of the ride that she still has to do. So we would put another thinking block on the end of those two. And this one has 62. Notice that the thinking blocks are not the correct size. It doesn't matter. It only matters that they're in the correct place. Now, let's make sure that the thinking blocks go with the question. So what is the question? How long was Anna's bike ride? Well, this is 49 in the morning, 37 in the afternoon, and another 62. So it makes sense that all of this together is Anna's bike ride. And that's what we're looking for. So we have our thinking block set up, and it's clear that we need to add these three numbers together to get our answer. So we need to find well, how much 49 plus 37 plus 62 is. And we'll do that on the side. It's easier to add vertically. 7 and 2 is 9, and 9 is 18. Carry the 1, 1 and 4 is 5, 8, and 6 is 14. So our answer, what's the question? Anna's bike ride is 148 miles long. Anna's bike ride, 148 miles long. And we are done. Here is a second problem. Kirka bought a juice for 55 cents, a breakfast bar for 27 cents, and a package of gum. She spent $1.22 altogether. How much did the package of gum cost? So what do we have? A juice for 55 cents is our first number. So let's make a block for 55 cents. 55, we'll put in there. Okay, now what do we have? A breakfast bar for 27 cents. That's the same kind of thing, so it would be on the same level. So we put another block and a 27 there. And a package of gum. Ooh, that doesn't have a price. It's the same kind of thing, but it doesn't have a price. So we would know to put it on the same line but it doesn't have a price, so probably that will be our question mark. Let's see what else we have. She spent $1.22 altogether. There's our keyword, altogether. So that means that the $1.22 is going to be all of our purchases together. And we can't write $1.22. What do we have to write? This is in cents. This is in cents. How many cents do we have? 122. Now, we can see that this is going to require two steps. First, we're going to have to find out how much these two together are, and then subtract it from that to get what's missing here. So, what's our first step? We add 55 and 27 to get these together. 55 plus 27. We'll go over here on the side, do it vertically. 5 and 7 is 12, so that's 2 and carry the 1. 1 and 5 is 6, and 2 is 8. So we have 82 here. 
So that means these two together, 82. So now we need 122 minus 82. So we need 122 minus 82 in order to find out how much this is. So we put that over here and work on it. Minus 82. We have 2 minus 2. We don't have to borrow. That's 0. 2, we need to borrow that 1. So that's 12 minus 8 is 4. So our answer is, what was the question? How much did the package of gum cost? Let's see. The package of gum cost 40. This makes sense. 55 and 27 and 40 adds up to $1.22. Where did I find this cool method of explaining math problems to my child? At www.thinkingblocks.com. The site is completely free. It's full of practice problems, interactive practice problems, explanations with videos, all free. If you want to take your child directly to interactive problem solving, then add this to the end of thinkingblocks.com. Who am I? I'm Linda Falberg-Stanowska at math247.jot.com.